What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Tell, and we are back with another episode of Televisions today, man. We got a special one for y'all. The film camera, RB67, man. We taking this down to do some street photography, but we're gonna put a little twist on it. I got a good friend named Raymond, man, who I just met recently through a homie, and we got this dope car we gonna have, man. We're gonna be shooting this on Cinestill 50D, but also, I got a surprise. I got one of my homies, Ebony. She's gonna be hopping on today. And we're gonna get some dope shots, man. Y'all check out this mood boy right here. We was really looking for some nice, clean, really cinematic looking shots. I really enjoy the shots with the legs just in the car. We got some dope shots that uh, I've been looking at for a minute that I've been wanting to use. So we got some with her leaning on the car, just really using the car as an instrument. So without further ado, man, I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, man, I'm finna get out of here. Peace. I just got this Amaron 100D. So I threw a little gel on here with a little warm highlight. So what I'm gonna do is, since Ebony's a little tall, so the light's gonna be coming from here and I'm gonna have her leaning on the car and uh, this light gonna be coming from like as if the sun is hitting her. And then we got this nice background to fill in that street look. So it's gonna be dope. Center still 50D. Man, this all the way around. So this one I like to do it. That's like my safe space because I'm not trying to waste no film. Honestly. Block that in. There we go. So as we started to shoot, I wanted to get Eb in front of the car. You seen on the mobile board, it's this shot um, with the lady in front of the car with her hands leaning on the front of the vehicle. It looks pretty smooth, so I was going for that look. And then I just had her kind of use her body as an instrument from there. So then I had her turn more towards me. It was a nice alleyway because I went to school downtown at Georgia State. So it was this alleyway I used to always pass going towards class. So I wanted to just uh, utilize that because it has this dope, like I'm gonna even show y'all this shot I took on my 35 mil. Like uh, the symmetry is real dope and it had like a nice uh, light leak at the time before she got there. This was actually my first shoot as well using continuous lighting. Something that I plan on using in the future. I wanted to switch it up. Uh, have her in the car. We was really getting into doing different angles within the car. One thing about Eb, yo, she had put together the whole fit her own self. Um, and like I sent her a move board, she shot me one back. And um, she was like, she wants to go for this certain look and uh, send me the outfit. And I was like, yeah, that'd be dope. So here I got like this dope shot right behind the glass window with her being in the back seat. And then I did get a shot of her laying in the back, but it didn't come out good. It, it was a negative. So yeah, uh, but. It's all good. We got some more decent stuff. I think in all, I got like, I want to say eight proofs back. Uh -huh. But I think I chose seven. No, I chose all eight, but I um, crossed this off one of them. I made it a double exposure. We was really getting into doing different angles within the car. Um, I really liked uh, one of these first photos that I had dropped. It was with her feet. They were dangling in the air. It kind of like made it look sort of like an ornament, I would say. That, that's kind of the vision it was giving me. I like the symmetry that was coming from under her from a low angle when you got the roof and the graffiti and the brick behind it. It looked pretty smooth. And I was trying to make sure I get a little bit of the sky too. Um, but yeah, that's what I was looking for. fifty. Um, 4.5. I, <laughs> I like that vent too. Come closer to me and step a little bit, like kind of around that circle. Yeah, that's cool. That's dope. That's real dope. I like those shades. You too. Is it slide? Yeah, face up. So it's going to be like right from the bottom. On three, one, two, fire. 
This one's gonna be more in your face, detail wise. Let me know if you think I should. I think the glasses look good. Yeah, that's look real good. Fire, one. Put both your hands in your hair. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like this a lot. Nice shadow, this is dope. All right, on three, one, two, fire. We got two more shots. Yeah, I like how you rest your on your bows on it. Yeah, I like this one. One, two, fire. And we got one more. Like, what's good y'all hope y'all really enjoyed the video man i had to get my homie ed back out here for another shoot this is dope man we went to two locations and yeah man it went very well let them know where they can find you you can find me at ebony davis e-v-o-n-e-e-d-a-v-i-s on all social platforms um find me in these streets you know find me up in the sky because i'm a star you feel me i'm everywhere you heard it man <laughs> make sure y'all tapping in make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and don't forget man love bro peace Hey guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. I just want to show you guys my results. So this is what I did with two of the photos. I made like a cross dissolve effect. I really enjoyed this as well. Um, so with this shot, it really gives me like this Atlanta feel. It makes it really like movie like, like something that I'd be in a movie at ATL or something. And this next shot, it really um, gives me like more so like a magazine cover feel. And it, uh, it's it's like I feel like this would be something on like the front of like a Harley Davidson look if this was even like a bike essentially this look was in front of the alleyway that I was talking about I really enjoyed this look um and got the small light leak in the back I really like it this was probably my favorite uh shot out of the whole deck I just really enjoyed how the light was hitting her I got my continuous light on the left side of her she was gonna wear her glasses, but I wanted her to take them off just so it can add like more to the scene. So I had her holding it and um, had her more so filling the frame. This one, I thought that was gonna be pretty dope as well. Um, with her having her head near the rims, it just gives a different look. And then I kind of cropped out one of the numbers to keep it 44 because 44 used to be my favorite number. <laughs> and then this last uh, photo as well, I really like this. It kind of gives me like, um, the R&B singer Maya, uh, it reminds me of the Mood Ring album uh, cover Maya had shot uh, back in like the early 2000s. That shit was smooth, so kind of gives me that same look, but instead of like, um, it's in an alleyway because <laughs> it looks like she's in the bathroom on her.